Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Journalist Roland Martin is joining us at the table so we can delve a little deeper into some of the stories that are dominating headlines these days. Welcome to the circle. Yes. 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 At the table. Yes. It's election day. It's yes. election yes. day. Big day. Huge day. Yes, yes. it is. Yes, it is. Yes. V-Day. You excited? Of course. Of I'm course. Really excited uh, and it, look, obviously, being in Georgia, everybody's focused on Georgia, but you got Florida, you got Andrew Gillum, you got Ben Jealous, of yep. course, uh, in Maryland. Mm -hmm. uh, you got ballot initiatives, you got uh, Beto O'Rourke uh, happening, uh, running for Senate. The question is, will Democrats take control of the House? Uh, will Republicans mm -hmm. hold on to the United States Senate? Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you still have the initiative in Florida dealing with uh, yes, only incarcerated yes, yeah, one point four million to get the well. right to vote. Mm -hmm. Marijuana's on the ballot. Yes. Uh, you got the constitutional amendments in North Carolina, voting no on all of them. Uh, <laughs> and so, uh, it's, it's, it's all kind of stuff happening. And, I, and also, there are a number of black folks who are running for attorney general. Mm -hmm. it's a, it's, uh, two African Americans, Democrat and Republican, running in Illinois. You got two African Americans running uh, in New York State. You got a brother who's running in Florida. Uh, you got a brother who's running in Nevada. And so uh, it's a whole lot of down ballot races. Mm. 19 black women who are running for judge in Harris County in mm. Houston. Yes. 19. Yeah, one of those is my line sister, right? yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, I mean, so, so I think, so if, look, cable news will be focused on frankly, the House and the Senate. And so mm -hmm. one of the reasons I want to have, uh, we're going to go live tonight for five hours from 8 p.m. Eastern to 1 a.m. on Roller Martin Unfiltered, is to cover a lot of those races featuring African Americans that otherwise would not get any attention. Yes, 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 that's good. good right? And to highlight the black folks who've been on the ground. Yeah. Yes. Or who yeah. out there trying to get folks out to vote as well. Yeah, so. that's Absolutely. real good. Well, Roller, I'm going to ship, ship gears just a little bit. I want to talk about Meg Megyn Kelly. Okay. Uh, she recently... <laughs> I'm, like, All right, I'm good. I know you are, but she recently said some very startling things about blackface costumes. Yep. And uh, you and Amy Holmes went on to her show to kind of uh, let her know that the perspective she was coming from was absolutely offensive. How but, did that? How did that go over? And did she come to you all, or did you all reach out to her? Uh, no, that they. Uh, I actually sent a tweet out. And I, uh -huh. I said. Uh, Megan, I said, clearly y'all don't know. And mm -hmm. plus, you need to have some black voices at the table. Mm -hmm. uh, so y'all might want to call a brother if y'all want to have this conversation. Uh, then literally, I was in the middle of my show. My phone rings, and one of the producers was calling me. And I was kind of like, dude, I got to call you back. Right. Uh, and so uh, we talked. And it was interesting because then they hit me. So they said, look, we're going to book you. I'm just heading to New York. Then they said, well, Megan wants to issue an apology. Uh, just by herself, and I said, "No, nah, y'all need to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. Just her issue and apology is not enough." Really and so yeah. I said, "Look, I'm gonna send y'all some thoughts uh, real quick." And I sent it to them, and then they said, "Okay, we're gonna book you in this flight." And literally, the flight was leaving in an hour. What? So I was kind of like, "Okay," because I didn't like, cause I, cause I live in D.C., so I'm <laughs> going in, and then they they, they, send, they send me the thing, and it comes in late. I'm like, "Yo, where's the board pass?" I said, "Y'all gotta come on. I can't." So I talked my way. Into the board pass. I was inside at 45 minutes, but I was a I was quite convinced. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and made the flight, uh, and again we had we had the conversation, and and like I said when it was done, this can't be the end of the discussion. You have to have more discussion right. along these lines. Do you feel like you made an impact on her? Yeah. Uh, Do you I feel like the apology I was, was I was heartfelt? I wasn't there to talk to her. And okay. Follow me here. Oh, all right, let's but go. Because well, you're not talking to one person. Mm -hmm. Like even here. That's good. Yes, there are four people here. But there are other people who are watching. Mm -hmm. And so I was talking to the folks who are watching because the reality is we have people who don't fully understand yeah. history. Yeah. And so therefore, you can educate them in, in, in five to seven minutes, That's give good. them mm -hmm. more information they otherwise would not have received That's good. even in their, uh, in their uh, classrooms when yeah. they were growing up. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Were you surprised that our show got canceled? No. Uh, because that was a marriage that was destined for divorce Ooh, the moment wow. it happened. It was. Well, I mean, it was, it was, it, no, no, that, that was never going to work out. You know, you're paying her twenty plus million dollars. You you throw off Tamron Hall and uh, Al Roker to replace mm -hmm. her. Their ratings are high. She's on the Sunday magazine was mm -hmm. failing, and she goes to the nine o'clock show. Ratings don't equal the previous show. The show not make, is not making as much money because you're paying her more than you were paying them combined. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have the internal strife, plus all the drama with her coming from Fox News. Yeah. You, when, when you throw all that in the mix. That thing was not going to work out, and so now we know that they were having conversations how to wind the show down and, and all of that. Perfect. It was that happened. Story. It's yeah. kind of like you know what? Let's go ahead and yeah, end this, this thing right reason. now. Yes. So, yes. So, so it was no shock they they, they chose that to use that moment to actually end the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. While That's we're talking saying. about celebrity moments, let's talk about Kanye for a moment. So, not even 20 days after he met with Trump, in essence, he was saying that he was misrepresented, and he was saying that. But let me let me get this quote right. Okay. That he 
was used to spread messages that he didn't believe in. Mm -hmm. What is your take on that? Well, he was talking about, of course, uh, Candace Owens, uh, uh, the sister who all of a sudden is a convert to loving Trump, mm -hmm. uh, even though she was running a, 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 um, a anti-Trump website <laughs> just two years ago. Mm. Uh, and she also, has, she also has been running for me because uh, she, want, she, she wants to debate everybody else, uh, but she won't debate she me. She don't want none of you. I wonder why. <laughs> And she's been running. Yeah. And so she has, she, of course, so she lost, all had this campaign, Blexit, okay, which was a, which is a riff on black folks leaving the Democratic Party tied to Brexit uh, mm -hmm. in, uh, in uh, mm -hmm. uh, England leaving the European Union. Mm -hmm. Now we know that wasn't her idea. Mm -hmm. So she's been sued yes. uh, as a result of that. Uh, and, and so uh, I think what Kanye also really, see, th this is what happens when you are a celebrity. And you you try to walk into a political discourse you're not ready for. when you don't fully understand what the hell is going yes. on. Mm -hmm. That's also one of the issues. And so, um, and same thing, Kanye. When you want to actually have a real conversation with a brother, holla at me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're switching gears to more important stuff. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Your show is going to be all about the election tonight. Yep. Um, tell us who will be joining you and what this show, like what would be the premise of what you, well you kind of touched it over there, but oh, who easy. else will be joining easy. you? Easy, easy. It's going to be the blackest of the blackest shows on TV. <laughs> I know somebody. <laughs> uh, I'm watching. Yeah. I'm telling you right now. Because yeah. look, look, I spent six years at CNN. Mm -hmm. I know how these election nights go. And so you might have one or two brothers and sisters who are going to be on the air on mm -hmm. uh, tonight. You yeah. might have one or two on MSNBC. Uh, we got about 30 black people lined oh, up. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, and so in addition to numerous political commentators, folks mm -hmm. who are Republican and Democrat, mm -hmm. we're also going to have Rashad Robinson, Color of Change, Ruben Jackson will be calling in, and all these folks who are running. I've already talked to them. And so Andrew Gillum, he wins there. Yes, my He's going to be on the phone. Stacey right, Abrams, mm -hmm. we're going to have her. Right, so that's gonna be awesome. uh, we're going to have all kind of folks on. But I'm telling you all right now, it will be black. <laughs> <laughs> All night long. I even got a, I even got a black caterer. <laughs> You gonna wear black on oh, right, no, we can know it's gonna be black. And I'll be wearing black. Just so y'all know. Right, so right. ain't no confusion right. uh, on what tonight is Down gonna be to about. Right. right. Just let just letting y'all know. Right. And I might have Frankie Beverly Mays <laughs> talking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you so much, Roland. We definitely appreciate you being here. Very yes. informative conversation. Yes. More information on Roland, go to RolandSMartin.com.